Hello YouTube, my name is Thomas Chang and this is my 5 minute TED talk. I have here 6 photos, each one containing a title of either a manga, comic book, novel, or biography. Now many of you will be asking me, what do these 6 pictures, 6 titles have in common? The answer to that is a simple one, they're all forms of literature. Now, another question is popping into your minds. How could a comic book, a picture book, a manga be considered as literature? Well, the answer to that question has been provided by the Oxford Dictionary. Literature is considered a written work, especially those considered of superior or lasting artistic merit. Now, I'm an engineer. I have no idea about what art or writing could entail, so I had to go outside. Now, why would a manga, a comic book, or a picture book not be considered as art when it takes a great deal of creativity and art to draw the pictures depicted in the stories? Not to mention the fact that they've been around since the for 70 years almost and have been evolving and growing and changing and appealing to readers worldwide ever since. If that's not a lasting artistic merit, I don't know what else could be. Next is superior artistic merit. Now, like I said, I'm no writer, so I went online to Reader's Digest to find what makes for a great story. And they have seven criteria to fit that mess to fit that requirement of a great story. These are the seven requirements necessary. Now, I know not next to nothing about writing, but I do agree with all of these seven statements because I'm an avid reader. However, I do believe that they are missing one strong and obvious choice, and that would be a strong message. Now, what do I mean by a strong message? Well, it's pretty obvious when you think about it. All I really mean by that is to have some sort of character development that requires some sort of moral, ethical decision that imparts a lasting impression on the reader. Now. In order for people to think about a book, to make it last through the times and the ages, people you have to be thought-provoking as a writer, as a storyteller. In my opinion, having a strong message and all those other seven criteria will help you to become to a great writer and leave, an, leave a lasting impression on the readers. Now, where, am I, where is this all going? Where am I going with all of this? My point is comic books, mangas, picture books. They need, to, they, they need to be considered as great forms of literature for youth and people need to not look down on them as forms of literature because they provide so much for today's culture. Comic books have swept through the nations as great movies and great stories for people to enjoy and love and laugh with. Yet, not so long ago, people who loved comic books were considered nerds, losers and outcasts from today's society. People need to start embracing the fact that picture books, comic books, and literature can or picture books, comic books, and manga are great forms of literature. I've laughed, I've cried, I've had lasting moral lessons from all of these books that are on this picture list. For example, Naruto, story about a boy who needs to be able to become comfortable and confident in his own body, and upon realizing the power that can happen by believing in yourself, is able to accomplish incredible feats. X-Men helps you to deal with grief. You go through all the stages of grief in the comic book, and it leaves you thinking about how would you deal with a loss of a, with a lost loved one. Hotshot, teamwork, group of, a group of mercenaries band together to defend the town from invading businesses, and I do mean in a violent manner. And Frank, courage, the courage to stand up for what's right. The Hidden Tree, to give everything you have for the one you love. Now, these are all strong moral messages. These are all forms of literature that can be accessed from people of all types of ages, all types of genders. My point today is simple. I love reading. I love novels, biographies, mangas, comic books, picture books. But I don't love how they're classified as less because they're not, because they have pictures in them. A story should be a story, a book should be a book, and literature needs to be literature. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this has all left you with a 
some deep thoughts and a strong message as to what's a true form of literature.